Today we're in the city of Atalanta and I'm here at X Squadron with Eric. Eric, what is our problem the students are going to be working on? Well, it's actually a really simple problem. We want the students to 3D print a 4 inch internal diameter pressure vessel that has to maintain 500 psi for 10 seconds, but it has to do it at the lowest weight possible. So they're going to have to come up with some engineering problems and solutions, but they have to also remember that they can't just make it big and beefy, they got to make it the lowest weight possible to meet the challenge and to, uh, to win. You're going to be taking around the workshop, what are you going to be showing them in the workshop? We're going to be showing them all aspects of the engineering problem. You want to come up with an idea, you have to take that idea through a drawing, a design, you want to analyze it, do the math on it, and then actually fabricate it, you know, using materials and, and using manufacturing techniques. And ultimately, after you have a prototype, then you're going to want to go through the process of testing it. All aspects of, those engineering, of that engineering problem, concept generation, design analysis, fabrication and test, is what we're going to be doing in the challenge. And so we're going to be doing all aspects of that so they get a feel for what an engineering problem is and how do you tackle it. But the kids have to use the math and the science that they know and that we've presented to them and use those skills to combine with creativity and some, some group ideas to come up with that final challenge concept. So the students all went back to their school, printed out their projects, had a lot of fails, and now the rubber hits the road because they are going to test them today to see if they hold. Let's go check it out. Eric, what are you doing right now? We're filling these with water um, for the, uh, the hydroset test. And uh, once these are all filled with water, then we'll put it inside the, uh, the test chamber, which uh, has some Lexan glass, and then we'll be able to pressurize these with some nitrogen. There's some pretty darn <laughs> impressive designs here, honestly. Sure. So I'm, uh, I am fully confident we're gonna have uh, multiple teams make it to 500 PSI. So what's the purpose of having these bands here? Because it kept splitting in the middle. This is our weak spot. So in order to help it, prevent it, we put a band that maybe help it from splitting. I'm pretty proud because I thought it was going to explode at like 550 or something. I didn't think it was going to go that high. Um, a lot of trial and error. We went through a lot of going through and trying to figure out how to do it right once we got it wrong. So, so these problem solvers stepped up to the challenge big time, right? Oh, absolutely. They took the problem, they solved it, and then we tested it, and we, uh, we did the engineering process. We looked at all of the variables, and we came up with some great stuff. What a challenge. All right, so you think you have what it takes to be a CQ problem solver, or if you have a problem that needs solving, go to curiositycrest.org, click on the problem solver link, and let us hear from you.